Well, Boomer, see her, everybody. My name's Harry James. Sherry Cole always sends her women, her Oklahoma women, out to prove themselves. And, well, they, she's done that again, and you know what? It doomed them last week as free throws issues doomed the Sooners in New Mexico. 95-79 to against the Lobos. Actually, that game was a little closer than it, than, than it sounds. I think they missed like 11 free throws. But they did come back, and the young Sooners used a strong second half to hold off the Sugar Bears of Central Arkansas, 65-52. to We'll preview the past week in women's hoops next. Boomer Sooner 1982, don't go away. Boomer Sooner, everybody. My name's Harry James. Let's review first the game against the Lobos of New Mexico in New Mexico. As, uh, well, free throw issues doom the Sooners 95-79 to in favor of the Lobos. Oklahoma, in the first half, shot 37.5% from inside the arc and 36.4% from behind the arch in three range. While the Mexico Lobos shot 45.9% from inside the arc and 42.9% from behind the arch for the first two quarters. As we go to halftime, second half, Oklahoma heated up. They let the offense rain, baby. 55.2% shooting from, from inside the arc and a deadly shooting 50% from the three-point bucket. While, uh, well, New Mexico stayed hot. From inside and outside the arc, shooting 51.4% from inside the arc and 46.7% from outside the arc for New Mexico. For the full game itself, Oklahoma shot 45.9% from inside the arc and 43.5% from the three point bucket, while New Mexico shot 48.6% from inside the arc and 44.8% from the three point wide. Now that's done. The stat steffers, though, not too bad for Oklahoma. 27 points for the freshman, Taylor Robertson. She's done it again, baby. This time she scored 27. She did that one on the road. Assist leader is our Mandy Simpson and Shayla Pellington. Shayna Pellington, both with four dimes. And Mandy Williams, the freshman, number 25, Mandy Williams, the freshman from Texas. Ha grabbed 16 rebounds on the night. As the Sooners, uh, free throw issues doomed the Sooners 95-79. But wasn't all that bad last week. They did get a win over the Sugar Bears. As young Sooners used a strong second half to hold off the Sugar Bears. 65-52 the final in Norman. First half for Central Arkansas. They shot 43.5% from inside the arc, but didn't but shot just 0.0% from the three-point bucket. And that's not because they didn't shoot any, by the way. Uh, Oklahoma shot 37.39.3% shooting from inside the arc and 14.3% shooting from a uh, three-point marker. Second half. UCA, Oklahoma's defense really stepped up a notch there in the second half, as we talked about. In the, op in the liner, as Central Arkansas shot just 27.6% from inside the arc and 22.2% from outside the arc, while the Sooners shot 56.3% for the second half from inside the arc and 66.7% from the three-point bucket in the second half. For the game, Central Arkansas, the Sugar Bears, 31.0% shooting from inside the arc and 13.3% shooting from the three-point bucket. 
while Oklahoma, 46.4% from inside the arc and 30.0% from the three-point bucket. The stat stuffers, uh, Pellington, Shayna Pellington, 18 points for number 14, Shayna Pellington. The rookie, or freshman, Tatum Wattenheimer, had three rebounds on the night for number 32, Tatum Wattenheimer. And Mandy Simpson, the uh, sophomore number three, Mandy Simpson, had eight boards as the Sooners take care of the Sugar Bears, 65-52. All right, guys, next up will be DePaul. You'll know the DePaul team by the team that beat Oklahoma in the NCAA playoff, in the NCAA women's uh, tournament. Beat them out last year. We'll preview that one in the next episode. Plus, just to let you guys know what's coming up in the next few weeks, next week we'll do the pick contest, the college football picks uh, the weekend after, which is the 23rd, which is, by the way, also my birthday, we will bring you the preview for the Orange Bowl, football-wise, between our beloved Oklahoma Sooners and the Tide of Alabama. Speaking of the football team, by the way, real quick, congratulations to Kyla Murray, winning the Heisman Trophy for 2018. And helping the Sooners get back-to-back -back Heisman Trophy winners for the first time since 44 and 45 in college football. Oh, well, unless you can count the Weiner and Bush era in uh, 04 and 05, which I don't. All right, guys. Um, if you want to see those previews, or you want to see any, or this one, or any of my other previews or reviews, it's not hard. Go ahead over to YouTube, Boomer Center 1982. You'll find them there. Also on my Facebook page, Harry James Taylor, and on my Twitter, at HypeManHarry. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and boomer sooner, everybody. I'm out of here. See y'all in the flip side.